Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu and today I'm showing you how to build a 6x6 coaster design that can be used with 9 different coasters. And crucially, 4 of those coasters are ones where I haven't been able to come up with another design for them. So we've hopped on into my workspace here for my 6x6 designs. So I'm going to show you how to build it twice. First time I'm going to show you in here so you can see everything. And then the second time we're going to plonk it down on the ground. I'm going to show you where you need to dig and where you need to tunnel. So it's going to be a lot, lot cheaper. So we plonk our station down and we're going to go up six units. So that's either 30 feet or nine meters, depending on what you want to use. So we've got two, two stations long just there. Then we're going to turn that way. And then we're going to go down. Now, some of the coasters don't have the ability to bank into bends when you're on slopes. That's fine. Just use whatever you can. Use banks or leave them unbanked. It's fine. The trains aren't long enough to cause any real problems. But this one, we can bank it. So we're going to bank it like that down there. Now, with these particular coasters, they need to have two drops. One of them needs to be, I think it's 29 feet. The other one, it can be any height. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go we're going to flatten off, still banked, but we're going to straighten off there and then go back down, banked just there. That gets us down. Now that little flat bit in the middle, that still counts as part of the first drop. And then we're going to flatten off there, still banked into a tight bend like that. Then we need to do another one, another straight piece. I say straight, it's banked, but whatever. Another one there, and then from there, then we can do a helix. So we go helix up like that. And then we're going to do another bank bit by there, tight bend. Then from here, we're going to go down like that. That's our second drop. Our second drop is now done. We're going to straighten off there into the tight bend. Then we're going to go up. We can, no, we'll go up. We don't really need to bank it up again into a bend flatten off no sorry chain left then flatten off then the bend then the exit then the entrance run it on test there you go there's the first drop up the helix there's the second drop up the chain lift catches it, brings it back to the station. And the stats come back. 5.49. Obviously, with the scenery and things like that, you get a bit of a bonus. Um, and plus, if you retest it when you've got guests on the car, it'll be slightly heavier, it'll go slightly faster, should give you some better stats as well. But I'll show you what I've got in the, in the actual game. Now, getting 6x6 six six designs isn't that difficult, but making them so that they look somewhat decent, that's the tricky bit. Okay, so we're on the map where I show you what holes you need to dig. So as we saw earlier, this one here is going to cost you 4,300 to dig. The ride's going to cost you 5, 7, total 10,068. With this one here, to dig in only costs you 380. So where you are here, if you imagine you're going to have the station is going to be there, then you're going to have um, the bend. Oh, that doesn't, can't really see that. You're going to have the bend there at the back. You're going to have the bend there at the front. So from there, then you slope down. Then after that, then you dig a two by two hole, three units deep. And then you do the slope there. I can show you on this side. So you're going to have the station there. Then you're going to have the bends there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slope down there. You're going to slope down there. And then this one, down two. And then this one then. You're going to have a two by two hole one, two, three units. So that then is the same as that there. Okay, now I got some cash. I can show you 
how we're going to build it. Where's the flawless? There you go. Build custom design. Station two towns long. Let's turn the land surface off. Bend there. Down and bank. Tight bend there. Flatten off there. Down with the bank there. Tight bend there. Flatten off with the bank there. Tight bend there. Then we need to do the straight bit with the of the bank again if your coaster doesn't have banks depending on which one you're going to use don't worry you should be fine the trains aren't long enough to cause any problems helix up there and there another flat piece with the bank there then into the bend there then we're going to do the second drop so we're going down with the bank there then we're going to go flat off with the bank let's turn it round like so and then we're going to tight bend there then we're going to bring it up 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 and then we're going to bend it there so now you can see the tunnel coming back like so and then we're going to use the chain lift just like that so that brings us up to the same height another chain lift flatten off and then back like that entrance and exit run it on test fast forward five five six oh we can do better than that though we can do what we can do we can use this to create like some cheeky head choppers and then for this one we'll just we'll just run it up like that Nothing fancy with the exit. Let's run it. Let's change the speed there. And run it on fast forward. See what that gives us. 5.6. Not bad. All the scenery, that will give you a bit of a boost. The rain, not doing very well for the video. Okay. So let me show you what coasters you can use them on. Now, these are all ones where I've had to dig down. So if you're going to dig down, you have to select a six by six box and then you have to dig down six units. OK, so first one, we've got the flawless twister just there. Let's have a look. One circuit. With the scenery, 6.25 excitement. Cool. Stand up twister. Two circuits with the scenery, 6.41. Hyper Twister. One circuit with the scenery, 6.54. And now this is the standard Twister. Now with this one, you could use, I suppose, because you've got the, it's the standard Twister, you could use the, the boosted hill bits, but there are better designs you can do with the Twister. Um, 6.32 two circuits and then the old style Togo stand up 6.31 excitement okay it has got seven laps but still that's good excitement for this coaster and then we've got a hyper coaster just there two circuits 6.39 and then we've got the corkscrew four circuits 6.29 and then the limb is the only one where the excitement is under six. 5.63. Um, if you retest this, I've got it set to 33 miles per hour. If you retest this whilst it's got passengers on there, guests on there, it will give you a pro give you um a lateral G penalty. It will it will go too high. And you also do need to have I don't know where the handyman's gone that was there. You do need to have someone on here. But again, I've got I've got better design in the six by six for the limb. And then we've got the junior coaster just here. With the junior coaster. Um let's have a look. Let's hide land surface. Let's hide scenery. I've got 
even then. It's still hard to see. Hide vertical land. There you go. I've got just there. You do need to have the chain lift on the bank, on the bend, on that one as well. Some of them, there's a little random bit of of path down down there. That's just a little, it's a little cheeky bonus with them. Now let's show you how to build them because it is a, it's a even with, even with the design, even with tons of cash and the design, it's still a little bit of a pain to build. So one, two, three, four, five, six. As you can see, the cost of that every time you dig down, it costs you 720 times that by six. Okay, so we're going to go in and let's find one of the designs. What, which one have we been using? We've been using the flawless and we've got the bunker. So I've been calling it. Now putting them in here is, is a bit of, oh, there you go, I managed to do it. But it is, can be very, very, Depending on the angle you've got it, it can be a bit of a pain. But what I found is that if you aim for that third third uh, tile on the left-hand side, it's calling me a liar now. Oh, there you go. If you aim for that third one, whilst it's the entrance is facing this way, it goes in. So let me show you which one it is. It's if you aim for this one. There you go, goes in first time. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, and when it's brand new, you can charge 10. After about five months, you will have to drop it down. But um, yeah, it's not bad. But what stats will it give you if you only run one lap? Well, thankfully, I've done that calculation for you. Okay, so here we are. All of the coasters now are set to one lap. So some of them were already on one lap, but we'll we'll go through them all anyway. So we've got the flawless, 6.25. Stand-up twister, 5.94. Hyper twister, 6.54. Twister, 5.85. Togo stand-up, 4.82. Hyper coaster, 5.88 corkscrew 5.27 limb 5.63 that can only do one lap anyway and the junior coaster 4.95 so i'm not sure if this is going to be useful for everyone um i had a lot of fun coming up with it um so I was very happy with it because it meant that I was able to basically complete the park. Yeah, so with this design, it enabled me to round out the park. And then I only really had two coasters that I was working on, the um, the compact inverted coaster and the vertical drop, which I've, I've got a solution for them. I can show them at a later stage, but yeah. So stand up twister. Hyper Twister, Togo Stand Up, and the Flawless. So I will upload these designs to RCT Go. Um, have a play about them. Hopefully they'll come in handy. Try and build them yourself because it'll be a lot cheaper if you can do that. And they will come in handy at some stage during a scenario. You'll be playing a scenario and you'll only have a small 6x6 space somewhere in a corner of a park. And you've got one of these coasters. And you're like, ah, I can build something by her. I just need to dig down a little. And yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Any comments or feedback or suggestions, drop them down below. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>